My name is Austin Unruh and I run Trees for Grazers. We're here today at Sunnycrest Pastures. Uh, it's a small diversified farm that has a dairy, it has poultry as well, and right now we're looking at the, the poultry system. Specifically, it's their layer system. So we put in these trees and shrubs two years ago. This is their second growing season, put in in spring of 2021. And we put in elderberries and mulberries and persimmons and all kinds of trees and shrubs that are gonna serve as cover for the poultry and also as shade and additional feed. Look at that growth. So the goal here is um, to focus on trees and shrubs that are going to serve the livestock. Right here we're after shade. Um, shade for the, for the chickens, it's an 85 degree day right now and it's sunny, so they would not be outside if they didn't have access to shade. So you'll see here in the background, there are, um, there are some wagons here that are providing shade while the shrubs are still growing, um, but they are starting to use the shrubs and the trees for their shade as well. So shade is one big thing. So chickens, when they're outside, because they're not like prairie animals, these are not prairie chickens, these are jungle animals. Uh, they, they want to be covered, they want to feel protected. They, don't, they want to feel like they're safe from aerial predators. So they want a place to go where they can feel a little hidden. It's not just the shade, it's also the shelter um, that they feel protected by. And then we also want uh, feed, so we want additional fruit, um, that even if it's not a huge part of their diet, it's providing a lot of diversity. So we have elderberries and mulberries and aronia um, and other fruits um, in this system as well, persimmons for example, that are going to add more diversity to the diet of these chickens. We've got chokeberries, we've got elderberries, persimmons, dogwoods, there's hazelnuts in here, a lot of mulberries because mulberries are such a great, fantastic food for, for poultry. And the trees are so robust, the trees will, will gladly take the additional nutrients, the additional fertility from the poultry. So we've put a lot of mulberries in here. Um, and then we have some diversity. We have some raspberries, we have some blackberries, we have some currants in here, just to see how the chickens interact with them, uh, see how they do with those berries. So here we have some aronia berries or chokeberries. So one of the plants that we've planted a lot here is elderberry. And elderberry is just really nice for these poultry systems because they're, they're easy to propagate, they grow fast. I mean, these things are, are six feet tall in year two and they're just loving it. They're doing so well. Um, they're very, they're easy to, to manage and to maintain um, as far as plants go. Um, and then they provide, provide very nutritious food for the poultry. Now these, um, it's a little bit early for the fruit, but these will be uh, purple within a month or so, um, and they'll provide really highly nutritious food for the poultry um, as an extra uh, nutritional and uh, health boost for them. Um, so elderberries are just a really nice plant to work with in these systems. And then in addition, Elderberries can be used, these can be used as a human product as well. So you can harvest these and uh, turn them into elderberry syrup, elderberry wine, and that kind of thing for human consumption. So at this point, this is probably not going to happen on this farm anytime soon because it is an additional enterprise that has to be taken on. But that, the farm now has that as an opportunity if they decide they ever want to get into that.